Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the REC Podcast, brought to you by the REC Toycast. I'm your host, Roman Chavez, and with me as always... Eric Icarus, the Eric. prince of the rodeo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Eric, you can find us on Instagram, <laughs> at REC Podcast. You can follow me at Roman REC Podcast. I just put up my top nine posts of the year. Go check that out. Do you really? Uh, yeah, there's an app that you do it. Everybody does it. It's a super yuppie thing to do on, oh, on, uh, on Instagram. Out. But uh, yeah, it compiles your, your top nine. And apparently, you can find Eric... At the Rodeo yeah, Hall of Fame here in Colorado Springs, <laughs> just uh, trying to trying to make a connection. Just trying to make a connection. Um, this week, guys, um, as much as we've kind of, I don't think "panned" is the right word, but as much as we've spoken negatively about Star Wars, and I told you guys I wasn't going to going to go to any special previews or anything, I did not. No, nope. but I did watch it. Yes, and uh, I wanted to talk to Eric about yeah. it off the show. However, he's not. Really into watching the nope, film. No, I'm really not, man. Um, I but, didn't like Last Jedi like many of us didn't. Right. Um, Eric downright almost hated it, I yes. would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which stinks because we both really like Ryan Johnson. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to spend this uh, podcast, uh, one, spoiling. Yes. Guys. We're going to be spoiling Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker um, and trying to convince Eric to watch it through yes. my spoiling maneuvers. Right, right. Because I, I don't mind. Being spoiled on this because I feel like <clears throat> there's no excitement in this for me. So you giving me spoilers is going to be excitement. So if you can pull it off, I'll still be super stoked when I see it. Okay. So okay. yeah, yeah, you got a, you got a, you got a long road ahead of you on this show, my friend, because I flat out don't care. Okay. I'm okay. apathetic to the point of even um, disdain, distasteful to it. I'm like, I don't even want to watch. Well, it. I think regardless of, of how you feel, I, I think you watch it just because it is the your your nine movies committed. Sure. Or your eight movies committed yes. to, to the saga. That's very true. Um, and I gotta tell you, I. I enjoyed this. Really? Um, and I'll preface that with, I feel like I've walked out of most Star Wars movies being like, man, I kind of like that. This okay. Kinda, and then I've rewatched them and, and been uh, disheartened. Um, <laughs> That's what I would put it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this one was, and my expectations were low, so it really did sure. exceed those expectations. Okay. Uh, its biggest problem, I'll, I'll go back and forth between the goodies. Uh, but remember, kids, we're going to spoil right, starting right now. The biggest problem with it is uh, it, it spends a little too much time, and we were worried about this, yeah. kind of rewriting what happened in Last Jedi. Right. This movie really does make Last Jedi a complete waste of time. Really? It makes it a complete waste of time, with the exception of the Red Room fight. Okay. Um, and Snoke dying, and they really don't even talk about Snoke that much. But they, in this, it's okay. They set him up to be the big, bad, yes. the emperor. He almost. was going to be our emperor of this, right? So to to make it like he didn't exist mm -hmm. is upsetting. Yeah, like you're like you said, it's a way that so you wasted my time. Yeah, Star you, Wars, La Last Jedi is a complete waste of time. Uh, Rise of Skywalker is not. Um, and right off the bat, in the first five minutes. We see Emperor Palpatine. <gasps> yes. It's, and it's bizarre. It is crazy looking. He's kind of like zombie-like, um, uh, fused to this like machine that's like keeping him alive, it seems like. Like a dial, like he's like Osama bin Laden with the dialysis machine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's even like more gnarly than that. He's just like, he's almost like, it's a bunch of stuff coming out of his back. And he's not even like walking. It's like okay. the machine is like moving him, but it's it's the same actor oh, uh, wow. talking and everything like that. He looks crazy, telling Kylo Ren to get his Knights of Ren together. They must stop uh, uh, Ray because you know she cannot come here as a Jedi or something like that. Wow. So it, it, so you're like okay, and I mean it's shot really well. It looks really cool. This entire movie doesn't feel like it belongs in the universe at all. Um, it's very different than any of the other saga films. It doesn't even feel like it's part of this trilogy. It's weird. Um, uh, okay, so when you mean that way, does it fit in good with, with the past ones? Not within these ones that came out in the last few years, but like the, the, the um, episode one, two, three. Um, it's... Because of the reintroduction of Palpatine, which is so just like skated over, it's just like, yeah, guys, remember Palpatine? Like, it, it, well, he's it, a big deal. Yes, it did feel shoehorned in there, and I felt like we were uh, going to, you know, I just felt like we were done with it. But did they know, give us an explanation? 
of like Palpatine being being back. Because I thought he they was dead. they make mention of clones, which there is precedent in the in the comics. Yeah, uh-huh. since we know about the the clone facility on Geonosis and right. all of that, like. Okay, I don't have Fair to stress enough. that far. Okay. I don't have to stress that far. You got me there. You know, okay, he wants fine. to make those clones also. He wants to make a clone for himself. Cool. Why wouldn't he? Yeah. M- makes Fair enough. Sense. Okay, fine. And it got me thinking, and I believe uh, a friend of the show, Andy, uh, has made this comment to me in the past. These nine saga films are about Palpatine versus the Skywalkers. Right. These are three separate chapters of... An overarching story, yes. essentially. Okay. And honestly, bringing bringing Palpatine back into it does make a lot of sense. Sure, it really does. Yeah. Um, but like I said, they spend kind of a long time uh, and a lot of like important just moments trying to explain away Last Jedi. And you know, uh, dude, it's like it's so blatant and on the nose; it's ridiculous. Like they're basically looking at the camera, going, "Hey, that movie sucked. We're sorry." Yes. It's going to get good here in a second. That Asian chick Rose, her her part is super Oof. small, super small. What about Finn? They actually do a good job of like using. I think they used Finn and Poe right. the best here. Okay, they really do feel like a young Lando and hey. uh, uh, Han Solo. Okay, okay. There's a lot of good good comedy, but there feels like th- like there's like a secret that they're all keeping from one another, and it feels like an like essential that. part of the story. I like it. But I'm sorry, nothing comes to fruition. It's some weird stuff. I mean, it feels like they all have something that they need to tell the other, like of those new three. Right. And they just it just doesn't really happen. Okay. So that's not really selling you. I get it. Okay. But okay, but I, I like think, the I like the concept. Yes, and and it's cool seeing the three of them have fun with each other. Sure. And they are, they are doing some fun stuff. You know, fun times on the Millennium Falcon stuff like that. Okay. Is um, Chewie back? Chewie's back. Chewie's like part of that crew. Okay, you know? cool. Yeah, okay. it's like, you know, he, they make, like it shows Finn and uh, Poe uh, po playing like that, like weird clay chess yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And, uh, and it's just like a really fun, like. Let, let the Wookiee win sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. like, no, dude, you're, 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 uh, you're obviously cheating. Like, they, they, it's both of them against him and he's like, you know, screaming. He's like, of course you're cheating. And, uh, and he like hits the table and he's like, whoa. You're 250 years old. Obviously, you're going to be better than us at this game. <laughs> you know, there's good comedy okay, like yeah. that. Yes. That was lacking in the last yes, one. Very much so. The, other, the, okay. the first one, or the or Last Jedi, is very... Uh, somber? Yeah, it's very somber. With no payoff. I'm good with somber if you're going to give me yes. something. Yes. But if it's just somber... that It's just like watching a mopey teenager... With no good poetry. Very much so. And I am going to refrain from spoiling everything. Sure. But I will say that there is a moment Mm -hmm. that even if you let... The moment, it's not as impactful as my um, Expendables... uh, What's his face? Who's the guy? Oh, Mickey Rourke moment. Oh, yeah. Where I'm like, oh, this does not belong in this movie. You got this Oscar winning moment in this. (laughs) But something happens and Chewy... It's the best acting that that actor has ever done. I don't know if it's still that guy because I know he, he passed. Yeah. The guy who was the body double sure. for him. Um, but there's a great scene where, it like, Chewy, you're just like, dang, that was that was solid. Okay. Like, he does a, it, it's small. It's 10 What's... seconds. But it, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, it, it, left, it left a impression on me. Okay. It's a great moment. Great moment. It, uh, okay. Um, Ray is doing her training with Leia. Leia has a pretty sizable role in this All movie. All right, let's call out the 500-pound elephant in the room. Yeah. How did they do it? Um, you know, it, it, I don't know how they do they did it, but it definitely looks like some shenanigans are going on. Right. It's not bad. It's better than Leia looked at the end of uh, Rogue One. Okay. You know, puffy, yeah, yeah. puffy pink face. Yeah. Um, it looks better than that, but it's definitely some 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 shenanigans. Okay. Right. I um, still was a taste. It was tasteful. Very much so. Okay. And they deal with her character like they really front load her, and then you know her story arc kind of ends. Okay. And it, and it ends well. Perfect. It, it ends very well. Okay. Yes. Um. So they show she's playing the Yoda, uh, Obi Wan yes. role to. And something cool is we get a flashback mm-hmm. of young Luke, young Leia, of Luke training Leia. So at least we do get that, and it's awesome. It's really awesome. Um, okay. It, it's not It's not a lot, but it is awesome. It's, and it's, okay. Um, uh, what else is, is, is interesting? Um, 
There's lightsaber fights. There we there's, go. There's kind of a, there's a decent there's a good amount of lightsaber fights. Okay. I wanted more just because I could watch an entire movie of them doing sure. lightsaber fights. Yeah. But it, there was really good lightsaber fights. Okay. We do see Ray get um, more you know training. She is learning stuff. She's doing kind of some training simulations like like we had seen Luke do in, in the past. Right. Right. And uh, there's a very interesting moment where she's like reaching out to the universe and she's like be with me, and she's trying to connect. With that spiritual side of the force, mm-hmm. um, but she is crazy powerful. She's crazy powerful. Oh God! Um, I but she's not getting she's not getting any calls back though. She's like really, it's this great thing where she's just like looking out and she's just like you know just whispering very ASMR. You know, all you can really hear is is the wind and her just being like, "Be with me." Be with I me. um always. Before they brought in the metachlorian nonsense, I always thought that's what the force was mm-hmm. was. People tapping into their spirituality. Yeah. And I feel like maybe they're bringing it back to that. Yeah. And they're trying to negate the Metachlorian nonsense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's, that's I mean, we've that's never very cool, mentioned man. it again since episode one. That's very true. In, in, at least in, in, in yeah. canon. Yeah. Um, so that's very cool, man. I'm glad they're bringing back the spiritual side to the Force, yes. which is cool. And that's awesome, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, so far, so yeah. good. Yes. Um, yeah. Like I said, there's lightsaber fights. Um, I said the pacing. It's yes. just I like this was such an improvement on the last film. I just wanted more. Okay. I just wanted more, and you can tell they're wrapping it up. And I kind of get the feeling that like even from like the 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 circuit uh, that the actors were kind of going on the talk shows, the the like they're done. Yeah. Very, it felt very much like when I not as bad, but close to when the uh, Tobey Maguire Spider Man people were doing their interviews. Oh yeah, they're just so like, tired. Yeah, and... they're just like done with it. They're yeah, but, sort of like it. the Thrones cast yeah. too. <laughs> yes. Um, Ray really solidified herself in this as, uh, man, I, I could watch more Ray stuff. Whereas before, I really yeah, couldn't. Yeah, I remember. I, 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 you know, I said I was done. I was already done with these characters. I'm, I'm back on board. If they, if they bring these characters back in later Star Wars, sure, you're cool I'd, be, I'd be pretty happy. I'd wow. be pretty happy. Um, so they, they expand on the lore, too. Cool. We get the idea. So where Darth Sidious is, where, where Emperor Palpatine is, he's on a Sith homeworld okay that's treacherous to get to and apparently when he was younger luke was looking for these um uh they called it a sith wayfinder okay and there's the and it used to be because like to get to this planet like it's chaos you're going through asteroids and solar flares and you have to have this specific technology to get there so you can't even rely on your force no you have to have this wayfinder. They introduce the Sith dagger. That's cool. They introduce a bunch of things that I'm like, oh, I hope we do other stuff with artifacts, with like the past. Like I'm, I'm very interesting. Okay. Or I'm very interested. Um, and then uh, Lando's back. Yay! Lando is, is like is Billy D. Yeah, Billy D. Is a general, and he's just like he's he's like out constantly. He's out doing stuff constantly. Okay. So we see him, and then he's the one who's like, yeah, Luke and I were looking for. The Sith Wayfinders. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, they're like, we tracked it to this planet, but uh, our contact we were supposed to meet disappeared. We found the ship. We, He's we, gone. Yeah, we, we, we never found it. And that was, you know, they're like, you know, that was 30 years ago, 20 right, right. years ago, something like that. Um, so, you know, it was cool. It was kind of, uh, I had a, you know, uh, a, a globe trotting with, with uh, but again, it's still just like, every time they're like going to do things in all these Star Wars movies, something happens. It's like, oh, we didn't even need this thing. You know, oh, it, it just yeah, like the it's they, a MacGuffin. It's to get a MacGuffin. To A to B. Yes, basically. yeah, it's just so lazy. Yeah, um, I always hated that. But like, like, like the, this time, you know, instead of going to that casino planet, which all felt like boring, <laughs> right. like this was oh, uh, it didn't come to fruition the way we wanted, but at least it was fun. Sure, there was really good fights. Okay, and you have Kylo Ren, you know, answering directly to um, uh, Palpatine, and and you you get the feeling that like Snoke. In the first movie, when he was kind of all big, like a big hologram, yeah, yeah, yeah. like he was on Exegol, which is the, the oh, same. so they're alluding yes, to that. Yeah, okay. that, that like he was, you know, okay, he was the new apprentice to right. to Palpatine. Okay, um, and uh, so you get some more stuff on like the First Order um, that the First Order was trying to pick up the pieces of the Empire, and Palpatine has like been giving them stuff like in the shadows, like. 
like the the rest like in this movie the rest of the resistance finds out that Palpatine's still alive. Wow. They none of them see him, but they like they get good intel sure. that Palpatine's still alive. So like Jesus. And it's funny because like, man, we've been fighting this fight for like a long, long time. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, you know, it, you start to see the despair. Sure, yeah, that, that'd people. be like us killing Hitler. Yeah. And then he's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back now. Come back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> um so uh he's working on something, Palpatine's working on something that he's calling the final order. And you know he loves his so orders. Very you know, Hitler. Or, or, yeah, <laughs> Order sixty six, first order, oh my final God, order. Yeah, it's all orders. And uh, now this is something that's stupid and it's irritating because I just hate it. Yes. Uh, like Palpatine on Exegol has the largest fleet of star destroyers mm-hmm. the universe will ever see. Sure. And each star destroyer has a planet destroying weapon. Okay. <sighs> I th- that has to be yeah. yeah. Get it up the stakes. Uh, so, so yes, yet another version of a star destroyer sure. or a Death Star. Yeah. Um, uh, so, you know, they get this kind of leaked intel. Like, there's a spy inside the First Order giving them intel. They don't know who it is, but they have to take it. Do we find out? We do. And one thing I will say is the movie's predictable. Sure. Like, you know the beats that are going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, like, they were trying to give you... They were try, again, they were trying to make up for Last Jedi... By giving you what you wanted, like it literally felt like most of this movie was like they were in, you know, they were on Twitter, they were on Instagram, seeing all the fan theories and kind of plucking sure. what they thought. Right. So it, it was basically a love slash apology letter to the fans. A very, it felt like that very much so. Okay. Um, there's great just like CGI scenes. Like I said, there's really good uh, lightsaber fights. Do you want to know who Ray's parents were? Of course. Do you want to know? Let me know. Well... It's confusing. Sure. Uh, it doesn't matter who her parents are because her grandfather is Emperor Palpatine. Okay. Yeah. Um, that part's janky as well. Yeah, but they say, wait a minute. Because we see, so she starts getting her memories back Mm -hmm. and this and that. And, uh, uh, she's finally, like, sees, like, her parents, like, hit her. And they kind of, like, you know, they kind of wiped her mind so that, that they, because Palpatine, what he wants is to take over Ray's body. Because he, he can't use all of his Sith power in that crappy... No, clone. no, yeah, yeah. It's, gone, it's just like yeah. burning it. It's just sure. like burning. There's a cool scene where we see him do the lightning and his hands are like messed up. Oh. And then they like kind of grow back. So, you know, it, hmm. it, it was it was pretty interesting. And then we see early on, uh, it's this awesome scene where like the First Order gets Chewie and they're like taking off on the planet. And then Ray's just like grabs the ship out of the sky. And then Kylo Ren comes out and he's like trying to let it go. And they're like struggling over it, and she blasts it and blows up the whole thing on accident. Chewy, yeah, Chewy. Is he gone? Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, I would. <laughs> oh no, um, Chewbacca. Chewbacca. That's sad, man. Yeah, it was a, and it was a cool scene. We see her obviously, and as soon as she flips the light, and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of this weird thing where he's trying to fulfill some like Sith prophecy, where like you know, the last. Uh, the last Palpatine is her, and then the last Skywalker is is Kylo is Kylo Ren, which is crazy how they're on uh, opposite opposite ends. sides. Yes, and they really do. They kind of enhance. You know, that that is one thing that was in, that was that was really good about Last Jedi was like their weird connection where they mm-hmm. can like see each other. Sure, and they kind of expand expand upon that in this sure. too. And it's so much so that like they can affect each other. Like even if they're on different you know planets. Wow. Like he got like she has like a necklace on, and he's like talking to her. He's like, I can't see where you are. And she's like, yeah, I don't want you to kind of thing. And they're like talking. And she obviously, she had got this like necklace on this planet that she's at. And he grabs it off of her. And he's like a Star Destroyer. And she's on a planet somewhere else. And he's got it in his hand. So he's like, so physically, physically, yeah. He managed to Yeah, so he pulls it through the force. Like when they're talking. That's very cool and that's interesting. Yeah, it was, it was, it was very interesting. And it plays into the story well. And then, like, later on, she's on his Star Destroyer while he's on a planet looking for her. And she's, like, in his room, like, going through stuff because he had got that Sith dagger from them. This right, and that. right. And there's, like, that mangled, you know, Darth Vader yes. helmet. And she's, like, touching it. And it's cool because she can hear voices from it. And so could he. So that was, that, was, that was cool. And then he's, like, talking to her. And he's, like, I don't know where you are. And he, like, she, like, lights up. And they, like, have, like, a uh, they have a couple lightsaber fights. But they're, like, having one. Like, where he's at, you see him. He's just, like, fighting the air. And where she's at, that, but, like, where we're seeing them, they're fighting each other. That's cool. It's really cool. And then he, like, hits her, and she, like, knocks over the helmet, and then it kind of comes into his purview. He's like, that's where you are. You know? And it, there's just a lot of cool stuff, you know, you know, 
It's just fun, fun story. Dude, it, this sounds like this should have been the last, the, the movie before. before. This mm-hmm. should have been Rise of, uh, um, La- what was it? Uh, last Jedi. Last Jedi. This should have been Last Jedi here, man. Because yeah. this sounds very cool, man. You're selling me pretty good, man, because, oh, man, that's all I wanted, man. I want some cool lightsaber fights, some good lore. Yeah. You know, just, man. It, I, I, it felt like I was reading some of the Star Wars comics. There you go. A lot of them are very good. Oh, for sure. A lot of them are very good. So I mean, do we do do they have a final confrontation, Ren and uh, Ray? Ray. Do yes. they have a final showdown? Yes, they do. Who comes out on top? Um. Well, you know, the story is hers, so she does. So she kills him. She she does come out on top. Um. And it's good, man. Like it's it's. <sighs> Again, it's a little. There's a little jank attached to it because you kind of want, like you kind of want it to go in a direction, and it just doesn't. Yeah, because um, they're out of chances as far as the yes, franchise. Yes, like if there was another movie, like different things would be happening. Yeah, like I think I think they really messed up. I think JJ Abrams really messed up in mm-hmm. Disney not having JJ just do the trilogy. Sure, it feels like his his entire trilogy would have went together very very oh, well. Oh, big time. Um. Uh, a big disappointment. Yes, okay. So, you know, we didn't do anything with the Knights of Ren in yeah. 2. No. Um, they're mentioned in 1. Yes. And they're actually in this. Okay. And they just, they don't really do anything. They're, they're just, like, like, stalking, like, you know, they're hunting Ray, but she never, she has a little fight with them, but nothing crazy. And it's just like, Jesus Christ, like, why, like, why are they here if, they're, yeah. if not to be awesome? Sure. Like, you why build, are they called the Knights up. of Ren? Right. What, why? Are, what, why? Like, are they because he knighted them? Like, what is the plan here? Yeah. Um, Kylo, like, fixes his helmet, and it's cool, like, where all the cracks are, they're, like, red. Oh, that's so, like, awesome. he, yeah, his look is good. And I actually like that that voice modulation that's on him. Yes. Very much that old school, like, radio sound. Yeah. I like that. Kind of the deep bass. Big time. And all of that. Um, that is... Uh, dude, you're selling me. Do we get any uh, Yoda? Or is... Oh, let me ask you. Is Luke in this? I mean... I know they can uh, be apparitions. Yeah. So does he, uh, Mark Hamill, appear? Did yes, he, get- he does. And he kind of gives her some more training. Um, she, once when, when she finds out that, that she's uh, a Palpatine, uh, she like crashes her ship on where Luke was. And she's like, I got to pull myself off the board. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. she starts to do it. And he's like, yo, yo, like, this is what I did. This was wrong. Like, you, you were doing the right thing. And he kind of teaches her some more stuff. Okay. And and helps her get back into this. This is about, like, they even call, refer to Ray as the final hope, which I thought was cool. That's cool. Um, and the movie is about, They like, should have just called it that. Right. Final hope. Yeah, I would have been A new better. hope and then bookend it with final hope. Yeah. Come on, man. And the movie is a lot about like people like the resistance is like like we don't know how much longer we, we can, can keep do going. This. Yeah. And then once they find out about Palpatine being alive like, and oh, his ship and his like fleet, yeah, they're like we're done. Yeah, let's just let's just be happy for as long as we can be happy. I'm done fighting. Yeah, right. And uh, like we see like a little bit of like where Poe comes from, like where where his planet was, and he was a spice runner. Okay, um, you know. Uh, we see some of his people that, uh, you know, that he probably burned to go join, you know, like, oh, we were a crew. Yeah. And then I went to go fight. Yeah. You know, so we see some some stuff like that. Yeah, Poe gets where they use Poe and Finn way too much in the last yeah. movie. They probably could have used him a little bit more in here, but like, I wasn't like, oh, I need more Poe and I need more Finn. Um, so did, do they do they get a cool ending to their arc, their story arc, or they just kind of trail off basically? Unfortunately, I feel like the it, the, the movie's rushed, so yeah. I, I feel like their arcs are kind of rushed too because we meet like a whole other group of people with like a new leader who uh, they were all uh, first order stormtroopers that rebelled. See, you they, okay? They that, that's a problem. Char- yeah. yeah. Why do you keep giving me new characters yeah. when this is obviously the end of your run? Yeah. Here? You know, yeah. I I you know that's cool and all. I'd be okay with with what this is if, if they had more time to expound on it but okay I mean that, that that's I mean okay fine but I, I, right now it's fine you yeah. know I'm cool I'm cool with everything being like you are definitely is. going to enjoy this movie more than, than The Last Jedi yes um, and honestly I'd give it a solid B I'd minus say, I'd say B minus okay. I would um, you know yes it's it It'd be, it's probably better than that mm-hmm. but my, my expectations are so hampered yeah um 
and and I was happy, but I don't want to also be like, oh, the honeymoon. I don't want to be in the honeymoon about it. You sure. know, it has its problems, but man, there's really cool stuff. I've been able to not spoil everything for you. Or do we get Yoda? We get Yoda's voice. <laughs> we get Yoda's voice. I believe we get Mace Windu and Qui Gon Jinn's voice. This, so is Sam Jackson talking? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. yeah. Well, that's not Sam yeah, Jackson, that's, but you I know, don't understand what that, that was. was Chris Tucker. Yeah, that was a little bit of Chris Tucker, I guess. He was a Jedi. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Jesus, I wish he was. <laughs> yeah, in the Fifth Element. <laughs> Um, yeah, overall, man, I really enjoyed it. I think that you'll enjoy it, too. Um, okay. You sold me. I, I, I'm going to go watch it, because you're right. I've invested a, a lot of my life into this. Yeah. I grew up with this, and, yeah. and I think I'm just mostly... It was mostly more um, of a sadness than anger, because, like I said, I grew up watching this, and it's a big part of my childhood. And sure. then, you know, having the first three trilogy being so sacred to me... And they're not even that good, honestly. Yeah. Oh, Going yeah, back no. and rewatching them, nah, they've lost. Watch, they've lost yeah. their their magic for me. But I still have good memories watching yes. them. That, that's the best thing about it. Is that yeah. now, fortunately, unfortunately for me, I didn't have that. Like my dad wasn't like a super no. Star Wars guy, no, no, no. so like I I made my own memories, but I don't I don't share them with like a parent. Like you share them with your dad. Right. Right. Um, but then you know we got the the the, the, the new the episode one two three, which mm-hmm. were whatever it, it yeah. was what it was, and then. Force Awakens rocked. Force Awakens did rock, although uh, upon further review, it's it's not as as good as I want it to be. But sure. it was it was a nice dip back in the pool. Yeah, and then uh, Rogue One. Yeah, great. Rogue One is is arguably, arguably my favorite yeah, Star Wars movie. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah, and this is pu- this pushes it. Yes, this pushes a uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker. It's uh, Rogue One is better to me. Sure. Um, if only for that last 40 seconds of Vader. Um, but, you know, that's just a better, you know, quasi-heist movie. Yes, and and I, and I just like heist movies. Yeah, same so, here. Same um, here. The way it wraps up, do, is it a definitive end? Yes. It's a definite, yes. I, I couldn't see how any remnants of the Empire could have survived. Okay. And uh, they do leave it in a way that you could do more Ray stuff and it would be good. Okay. I, I would be, I would be, I would be happy with it. I would love to see us kind of as viewers learn more about the force. Cause the, I'd say for the majority of, of, of star Wars fans, the vast majority, I think it's that small, uh, big collector, uh, minority. That's like the big voice. But I think for the most part, people just watch star Wars movies. Yes. They don't, you know, you don't read the comics, you no. don't read the novels. You just watch the movies. And then the cartoons, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, those, are, those are fantastic. Are great. Yeah. So, um, we can use Ray as like a way to like really teach just the moviegoers like what the Force is, sure, and what it's about, where it comes from, what does it mean? Right. There's an excellent story where Luke Skywalker uh, meets who ends up in the in in the novel and comic continuity uh, becoming his wife. This chick, her name is Mara Jade. Okay. And Luke is out there looking for. Um, Force users trying to rebuild the Jedi, sure, this and that. Sure. Obviously, it's after a, a return. And um, he gets, like, a huge, like, feeling about this planet. So he goes to this planet, and it's very interesting because the entire planet is Force-sensitive. Like, the plants and the animals. Oh, wow. And, yeah, everything there. That's cool, Like, man. the planet itself is, like, is, has the Force. Every creature on this planet has, like, you see monkey or, you know, what look like monkeys. Yeah. They're, like... You know, to grab like fruit. Yeah, using yeah, their yeah. yeah. You know, they're, they're, you 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 you're seeing like the the trees kind of move in a different way, and yeah, it's just a yeah, it's a very interesting uh, uh, concept, and I think that if we were to follow Ray, you know, because uh, Luke in Last Jedi is talking about you know you got to feel the Force, yes. and he's really like talk, like like you were talking about yeah. spirituality, right. uh-huh. spirituality. Um, it's funny, real quick, but uh, do we get any cool for- force fights like them pushing each other and yes, slamming um, each other against the wall? Or, yeah, yeah, like I, I could always use more Me force too. fights too. That's what I'm all. But about, what's man. one thing that they did that was really cool, and they showed this in the trailer a little bit, where you see them fighting on that with that like ocean water. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, they're like blocking using the force. That's cool. It's really cool. You're kind of seeing like the lightsaber, like the energy itself, like kind of being blown back because of it. You know, almost almost like it's like. Uh, Almost like it has smoke and it's like blowing. So, so you're seeing you know, little jagged that's, edges going the yeah. other way. Oh, that's cool. And, yeah, and it just looks cool. And man, she is just, she is very strong. She's okay. very strong. Is she OP? She is OP in the same way that Luke was OP in Return of the Jedi. Sure. We were like, dude, we didn't, we didn't see you learn any of this. Like, 
What are you doing? <laughs> but like, but like, there's good comedy, and they're they're on a star destroyer, and they're trying to uh, uh, free somebody, right? And uh, Poe and Finn get like surrounded by by stormtroopers, and then Rage comes in, and she's like, "We're okay to be here," and the stormtroopers like. Or you're okay to be here, and she's like, "You're actually glad we're here." And they're like, "Oh my, thank you so much for being here." You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know it's just like funny stuff See, like that. That's what I. <sighs> yes. Back yes. to it. See that that's what I liked about it, man. Yeah. I, mean, I I'm very enamored with uh, Daisy Ridley. I think that she could be a. I think she is a really good actress, but I've only seen her in the Star Wars stuff and then um, uh, Murder on the Orient Express. Yeah, and she was excellent yeah, in that. Good. Um, but I, I would like to see her in more stuff. Sure, you know you got to remember she's probably straight up committed to Star Wars, or uh-huh. she can't take yeah anything yeah. until she's fulfilled her. You sure. know, so and I think she's fine. She's a good actress, yeah. man. She's great. Yeah. I, I I love Adam Driver. Is yeah, he, does he? He's good in here. They do some stuff with him. I'm I'm very curious to see what you think about it. Okay, what they do with him with his character. Okay, cool. So, yeah, they do they do some very okay. good stuff. Uh, do we get yeah. any uh, Han Solo references or just... Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm in. Boom. You sold and, it. And that it was, was it. And it was unexpected. That was the cherry. And, and it worked really well. Okay, that I, was I, the I, I very much appreciate what they because did. Because if, yeah, if you don't know, if anybody doesn't know, I'm a Han fan. Yeah. That's uh, my man's right there. I... The one thing that was missing for me was a moment where we see Spirit... Anakin, oh, sure. Spirit, Luke. Yoda, Spirit. Because we did see Spirit. Oh Luke. yeah, yeah. But together. Yeah, yeah. Like I get the end. There was a moment where we could have done that, and yeah. it might have been a little hokey, but it would have been awesome and regardless. Honestly, a little hokey with Star Wars is it's, it's fine. It's baked in. I You're need right. it. You're right. You're right. I need the overkill on yeah. it sometimes, and that would have been cool. If it yeah, did. like they 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 dip their foot in that pool, but they don't actually go in. Gotcha. And like and like I was saying, you hear some voices. Like we hear Yoda. And Mace Windu, and I believe... Does he do that backwards talking thing? No, they're just saying her name to an extent. Right. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, just like that. I thought I was in the movie. (laughs) Well, Eric, I hope that we have been able to convince you to to go back just one last time. I'm going to. Yeah, it is like the abusive boyfriend, but I tell you what, kids, this time he's changed. He's got flowers. (laughs) Yeah, he's got flowers. Ice packed from my face. Yeah, exactly. He's got flowers. He's got a Christmas card for your mom, and he knows what time and what day her birthday is, all right? (laughs) Kids, thank you so much for listening. Um, If you like what we're doing, please hit that subscribe button. Give us a like. uh, Leave us a comment. What did you think of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker? Um, Eric, what did you learn today? A lot. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, you learned that you wanted to watch it. I, I learned that Thank sometimes you. third chances are there. Yeah. yeah, you know, I'm there. I'm gonna okay. be there. I'm gonna okay. watch it. I'm gonna watch I'm, it. I'm, we'll have to have a quick follow a quick up follow in, in up. another. Yes. in another and thing. Then, uh, then we'll do a we quick. Actually, have a discussion. Yeah, quick ten minute thing. Um, cool. I'm in. All right. I learned that uh, I definitely want to watch it again. Um, okay. That I'm a little sad that it's over, and, right. and I and a week ago I would not have said you that. You wouldn't even care. Yeah, yeah. I, w- I wouldn't believe you. I would call I you don't, a liar if you said that I said that. <laughs> I don't think it's over in the sense that we think it is. Yeah. It's Star Wars. You can't. You can't kill it, man. Very much like in the trailer, you know, you hear Luke, you know, we'll always be with you. See, you know, you know, and, and see, that's and, the hokey I need. Man. Yes, I'm totally taking take comfort in that. Like, yeah, I, me too. I, I very much like that, and 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 because of those actors, because of Carrie Fisher and Mark Hamill, um, like just their genuine like kind of passion for the project, right? Uh, you know, it shows. Yeah, it really does. And, and it makes me feel, at the very least, like you didn't feel like. Luke was phoning it in in Last Jedi. No. Even though he said he fundamentally disagreed with Oh, yeah. With Mark things. was not happy yeah, with it. But, but he, Mark's a professional. Yes. And he was like, now let's try to make the best movie we And can. he's the nicest guy you'll ever know. Yeah. yeah. He rocks. Anyway. Um, yes, I'm there watching it. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for listening to the RAC Podcast. I have been your host, Roman Chavez. I'm still Eric Icarus. And from a galaxy far, far away, give a visit, and we will catch you next time. <laughs>